Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is Fab on a Dime, where I share all kinds of frugity, fr <laughs> frugating, frugal budgeting. I think that's what I was going for there. <laughs> all kinds of frugal budgeting and life tips to help you save money. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, hit the subscribe button, like this video, be my friend, and let's build wealth together. Today I'm gonna to be sharing eight tricks to help you save money on Airbnb. As an opera singer, I travel constantly and I'm always having to stay in hotels or Airbnbs. So these are some tips I've picked up along the way and they will save you a lot of money. So let's just jump right into it. My very first tip is to Google a property before you book it on Airbnb. If you find a property that interests you, go ahead and look up that property on Google because there's a chance you may be able to book directly with that host and save yourself the extra money. A lot of times a hotel or a hostel will list something on Airbnb, but they will prefer it if you book through their own website so they don't have to pay third party fees. The third party being Airbnb, you and they will have to pay the extra fee. So a simple Google search could save you a lot of money. If you book directly with the host, you're gonna pay a lot less. See if you can do that. Search the property before you book. My second tip is that you can negotiate on Airbnb. And we're gonna talk about this for a second because there's a specific way you have to go about doing this. I'm going to tell you exactly what you should say in a message in order to get a better deal for yourself. I would suggest going to a location on an off peak season and using that in your favor to negotiate a better deal. People have successfully negotiated and gotten hundreds of dollars knocked off the original price. So I say it's totally worth doing this. The, the worst thing that can happen is that they say no or they just don't respond to you. So I think it's worth it. But before you go and do that, take a look at your profile. Make sure that it looks super professional. You want the host to believe that you are a very respectful guest. Have a nice profile picture. Um, make sure that you have good reviews from your previous days. I would start by messaging the host directly to ask them about the property first, um, express your interest in their property, talk about the location, ask them about um, where the, the property is located and what kind of things are around it. You really want to establish a connection with them first. If you're successful in starting a friendly conversation, maybe about the area first, then you might be able to work out a deal by saying something like this. Dear whoever this is for, I am so excited to be visiting blank and I think your property is absolutely beautiful. It's important to compliment their property. I would love to book my stay at your place, but it is slightly above my budget. I was wondering if you might be able to offer a discount considering it's off season. Please let me know if there's something we could work out. Thank you in advance. Doing this before you hit the book now button might save you a whole lot of money, so give it a go. Tip number three, get yourself a kitchen. One thing I always look for in a property is a full kitchen. I take jobs for weeks, sometimes months at a time, and if I don't have a stove, I can just kiss my money goodbye because it's going straight to Uber Eats. If you're planning an expensive vacation, why not save yourself a little bit on food costs uh, by having that kitchen and cooking a couple of meals at home and then you can take that extra money and spend it where you really want to spend it on the attractions you really want to see. Food is like the biggest bummer in a vacation budget. So the way you can save on that, make sure the place you're going has a stove, has an oven. Um, you want something more than a microwave uh, because you will get really bored of that really fast. This is why I tend to lean towards Airbnb rather than hotel rooms. I have had to stay in hotel rooms before during a job where I stayed for like several weeks at a time and they only had a mini fridge and a microwave. And I can't tell you how difficult that was for me. There are only so many things you can make in a microwave with just a mini fridge. So get a kitchen. Tip number four, repeat a visit. If you like where you're staying, let them know. Tell the host that you're very interested in coming back. And then when you do come back, message the host first, let them know that you're a repeat guest and how much you enjoyed their stay the last time you were there. They're probably going to be willing to throw in some freebies. Usually repeat guests get way better treatment, they get better deals, you can probably have an easier time negotiating with the host because the hosts are very happy and grateful for your loyalty. They're likely to give you a better price or they might gift you some treats or experiences around the city. Make that connection with your host if you're having a good experience because it could pay off later on down the road. Number five is to be flexible with your dates. 
Sometimes, weirdly, it can actually be cheaper to stay for a longer period of time. There are discounts for longer stays. So just do the math, do the research, check out that property and see what kind of deals it comes with and be as flexible as possible with the dates that you're looking at. And never take that first number seriously. You know, the number that it comes up right when you look at a property it says this many dollars a day. That doesn't include all the fees. That doesn't include all the discounts that you might be able to receive if you change the dates around. So always do the math. Don't be hasty and just book something because it's convenient. Tip number six, book in advance, like very far in advance, several months in advance, or book last minute. Cancellations could provide you a better deal. Some hosts, if they have a last minute cancellation, they'll list their property for a lot cheaper in order to attract a guest. So if you have the flexibility to wait to book until the last minute, try that. Or if your anxiety like will not allow you to do such a thing, just book very, very far in advance to avoid the higher prices. The timing at which you book the property could mean the difference of 15% of the price. Timing is key. Number seven, when you're looking for an Airbnb, check the newer listings and here's why. Newer hosts are always looking for good reviews and guests and so they're more likely to give you a better deal upfront or they're more likely to negotiate with you to get a good review from you. You might be taking a risk uh, by booking something that hasn't been reviewed yet, but you could be saving yourself a lot of money. These people are eager to get guests, they're eager to get a good rating. So if, again, if your anxiety doesn't prevent you from doing so, give this a try. And number eight is very important as well. It's something you probably haven't thought about yet. After you have stayed at an Airbnb property, Take photos before you leave. There have been nightmare stories of people getting slapped with extra cleaning fees and accused of breaking things or leaving things a mess. And so you don't wanna be caught with these extra fees and accusations. Go ahead and take the photos, make sure that you have the evidence there so that you're more likely to win in an argument on Airbnb if you are accused of these things. In order to dispute the claims made against you, just send the photos in and say, these are the photos I took right before I left. Make sure you clean before you leave and um, hopefully this won't happen to you. But this is just a precautionary tip uh, to avoid any sort of nightmarish, nightmarish situation. I hope these tips were helpful for you and I hope that you save lots and lots of money on your next trip. If I missed any tips for Airbnb, leave them in the comments below. We can all learn from each other. And don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next one.